All right, before coming to the uh, Visalia Rescue Mission, you know, I was um, addicted to methamphetamine, alcohol. Um, I, from a young age, you know, I've just lived a life of, that was my life, uh, in and out of jail and prisons. And, you know, I just thought that was going to be my life. Didn't care about anybody's feelings at all, whether it be my family's, friends, my daughters. You know, I, I just basically was selfish in my addiction and the way I live my life. Well, I've drank and done drugs most of my life since high school. It's ruined my relationships, my marriage. And I thought I had it all together, but I didn't. I was angry. I didn't, I, of course, I thought it was everybody else. I got my first DUI when I was 21. And then I got two back to back when I was 23. I couldn't stop drinking. It was just, it became a habit and I didn't know what else to do except drink. Basically, I've been uh, on and off meth for the last 20 years, in and out of jail. I probably did like five of the last 10 years in prison. Once again, I was addicted to alcohol. I had lost contact with my daughter, my family. I was just lost. I really honestly didn't know what to do. Not taking showers, just being sleeping on park benches. That kind of is where it hit me so hard to where you know, I felt helpless, like my life had no purpose. Um, my soul was broken, basically, so. In February of 2016, I went out with the cousin and we hung out at his house and we drank all night. I blacked out. Uh, the next thing I remember is I'm standing in front of somebody's house and I'm cold. I remember picking up a rock and throwing it into to one of the windows and I climbed inside the house. I went to jail. I was looking at seven years in prison, and I just opened the Bible and started praying. There was an old lady in there on the phone. She was calling the police, and she was yelling at me, get out of my house, get out of my house. Everything was just a blur. The next thing I know, I hear banging on the door, and I ran behind the old lady, and I got her in a chokehold. I had her there, and then I realized what I was doing, so I let her go, and the cops tackled me down, and, and they arrested me. I was just out, out here, uh, out sleeping there on the side of the mission and I, I just asked God one day I said uh, God you know do you want me to go in this program and he, he told me yeah and so the next day uh, I came in and uh, signed up and I think that's probably one of the best decisions I ever made I made the decision just out of the blue I called my aunt one day and um, I just kind of told her you know oh I think I need to kind of like get a relationship with God, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that for some reason, still still drinking and stuff, but something was stirring inside of me, like like I couldn't, I really couldn't uh, resist the feeling that I had. I did eight months in, in county until I got bailed out and I uh, enrolled myself into the facility rescue mission. Yeah, I ended up going to the shelter and, uh, you know, putting the application in for the House of Hope. And so they ended up getting me over there and stuff. And finally, six months into my to the Vasella Rescue Mission, I finally got sentenced and I was allowed to stay here, complete the year, and do three years probation. When I got sentenced, um, my victim, she still wanted me to, to do prison time. She said, I don't understand why he could do something like that to an old lady. And she said, but I know I can't judge him, only God can. So for that, I forgive David. And, man, that hit me hard. Well, I got to see my son uh, after we've been separated for about 15 years. And I seen him for the first uh, time two weeks before I graduated. And uh, we've been in communication. and So that's been good. So within those months, you know, I just got my relationship stronger with God. I love the way I felt. You know what I mean? I got everything worked out. My family has been there for me, like, super, super tight. So... So everything just worked out good. In this past year, um, God has restored everything for me, health-wise, family-wise, like just a complete 360 on my life, you know? I'm just really th thankful, you know? I've been clean for 20 months now, going on almost two years. Still not quite there in the head yet, but <laughs> working on it. I'm going to have a new grandson next month, which I'm excited to be sober for. And I'm sober today. So. <laughs> and things that I didn't think that were possible are possible. 
I think I have a great future ahead of me. Uh, God is now in my life, and I try to revolve my my life around Him. I try to put Him in the center of my life. That's how it's supposed to be. As of right now, I do my apprentice at the shelter, which I love because I was once there so I can get back to the ladies. You know, those sometimes you need those words of encouragement, you know? So it makes me feel good that I can make them feel good, you know? And, uh, and I'm just gonna continue to seek my relationship with God. I feel at peace now, you know, where I didn't feel that way before. And I made a lot of good friends and I'm just very thankful to God and to, to Visalia Rescue Mission. And the staff there is just great. I love, I, I love the Visalia Rescue Mission. I mean, they just totally changed my life. 